You're listening to a Hindustan Times podcast brought to you by HD Smartcast. Hello. These are the top news for the day. The Central Water Commission estimated that the Yamuna could swell to 207.99 meters on Wednesday night an unprecedented danger mark. But exceeding the estimate, the water level of Yamuna breached the mark of 208.05 meters marking it as an extreme situation for Delhi as flood water entered the city on Wednesday evening. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal urged the center to intervene and ensure that the water released from Haryana's Hatnikund barrage is slowed. The danger mark is 205.33 meters which was breached on Monday after heavy rain for consecutive days. The water level shot up rapidly. But as the intensity of the rain was to gradually weaken, Kejriwal on Monday said there was no immediate flood threat. The water level breached all-time record of 207.49 meters by 1 p.m. on Wednesday. On Thursday morning, the level was beyond the 208 meter mark. The primary focus during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to France may be on defence, but the two countries are poised to take joint steps in cooperation in areas such as the digital economy, manufacturing and clean energy including developments concerning the 9900 megawatts Jaipur nuclear plant in Maharashtra. After 5 years, the India France CEOs forum has also been revived and is meeting in Kuai Diose, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs office, on 14th July with 10 to 12 corporate leaders from either side. While the Indian side will be co-chaired by Hari Bhartia, co-chairman of the Jubilant Bhartia group, the French side will be headed by Paul Hamlin, chairman of information technology firm Capgemini. Hamelin has also been appointed by the French government as a point person for business and trade with India. Capgemini employs around 200,000 people in India and is set to open a 6G laboratory in Pune. Bilateral trade between India and France has doubled from 2014 to 14 billion euros with a balance in favor of India. Milan Kundera The renowned but reclusive author whose dissident writings transformed him into an exiled satirist of totalitarianism and explorer of identity and the human condition has died in Paris. He was 94. Kundera died Tuesday afternoon, his long-standing publishing house Gallimard said in a one-sentence statement on Wednesday. It confirmed that he died in Paris, where he has lived for decades. but provided no further information the european parliament held a moment of silence upon news of his passing kundera held both french and czech nationality which he lost and then regained kundera was a man of few words whose novels were translated into dozens of languages but he abhorred the publicity that came with it refusing interviews I dream of a world where writers are obliged by law to keep their identity secret and use pseudonyms. He wrote in the 1986 essay, The Art of the Novel. Kundera used the sentence to respond to questions put to him in 2011 by Le Monde des Livres, agreeing to an interview via responses from his works. A body chopped into at least 5 pieces was found in polythene bags at Yamuna Khadar near the Geeta Colony flyover in North Delhi on Wednesday morning police said and added prime facie the dismembered corpse with missing head appeared to be of that of a woman We are verifying the gender of the dead person The auto forensics will help us verify it A search operation around the area where the pieces were found is still in progress to find more evidence, said Deputy Police Commissioner Sagar Singh Kalsi. Police said their control room received a call regarding the body parts at 9:15 a.m. Since the place from where the call was made involved three police districts of North, Central, and Shahdara, separate teams rushed there. 
Some body parts were first found in a bag while others were missing. A search operation was carried out in the area and another bag containing more body parts was found at some distance away. The areas fall under the jurisdiction of Kotwali Police Station. Bharatiya Janata Party MP Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh on Wednesday claimed that the sexual harassment allegations leveled by some of India's top wrestlers are a result of a conspiracy of the Congress party. Singh said in a statement that Priyanka Gandhi Vadra's tweet asking for his arrest and removal from the post is a conspiracy to mislead the country. The law does not consider anyone as a criminal on the basis of the investigation report of the police. This is the right of the court and the constitution gives us the right to present our case in the court, the BJP MP said. It seems that Priyanka Gandhi and Congress do not have faith in the court. That's why they do media trial of every case, he added. Singh is liable to be prosecuted for offenses of sexual harassment, molestation and stalking according to the charge sheet filed by the Delhi police on 15th June, a senior Delhi police officer said on Tuesday. The outgoing Wrestling Federation of India chief has been charged under Indian Penal Code IPC as sections 354. assault or criminal force with intent to outrage modesty 354a sexual harassment and 354d stalking his aide vinod tomar has been charged under sections 109 abetment 354 354a and 506 criminal intimidation you were listening to the hd daily news wrap A beta production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Please give us feedback on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at HD Smartcast or via email to podcasts at hindustantimes.com. Until next time. To stay updated on this podcast, follow us at HD Smartcast on all the major social media platforms. To listen to more such podcasts, log on to www.hdsmartcast.com. Hold up. 